So it's uh, Monday, October 7th. I'm here um, on my lunch break and these panels here, these amorphous panels that I bought about well, five, six years ago, they've stopped working. So they've been up here permanently on this roof. I've never put them down, taken them. And I think what you're supposed to do is you're only supposed to use these once in a while. Like if you have a camper or something, you, you're supposed to just keep them in storage and then take them out and use them um, and not have them on your roof full time all the time like this or set up all the time. Since, because I'm not getting any amps off these anymore. I mean, it's cloudy now, and I've actually, I took these off the regulators to see maybe I thought the regulators weren't working right, but these, I'm not getting any charge at all from these, so I spent a lot of money on these. These were over 300, these were almost $300 each, and so anybody out there, don't waste your money on these. These, these types of panels are a waste of money. If you can, buy the, buy the crystalline ones like that, or polycrystalline or monocrystalline. Don't get these amorphous panels because you're just going to end up wasting your money on those. Uh, those are doing pretty good, actually. I'm getting a lot of amps off those and those when it's sunny, of course. But these are supposed to produce power when this when it's cloudy like this. But I'm I'm I haven't been these have, these are dead. I'm going to take them down and I guess I don't know what I'm going to do with them now. I just have to get rid of them because I'm going to use the space for probably get some better panels because now the panels have come down in price relatively inexpensive you can get get a good solid you know name brand you know uh, uh, these are Sanyo and then there's this Kyrocerus even even these have stopped working too I'm not getting hardly any charge off those and I checked them in when it was sunny and I I turn I because I can turn off I can turn these off this and all of these here, these, and the two up there, I can I can turn those off, and I can turn those off up there. So what's left is those amorphous panels, and they they're not working anymore. So it was I, I spent almost seven hundred dollars on those on those, and none of them are really working anymore. So I, you know, it's, uh, unfortunately. You know, if you, you guys are thinking of buying solar panels, don't buy the amorphous ones. Get the ones that are the cells with the crystals. Um, they'll last a lot longer. Yeah, what I've done here is... Um, I got a timer on, so my pond and my little heater that I'm using for my worms. I keep an old sleeping bag over covering my worms. Because it'll freeze out here, but I don't want them to freeze. So this, this, so I have my timer comes on between 10 a.m. and 1:30 p.m. and that I'll just leave that on till the winter, um, till the winter's over. So this is on all the time. And then I bought another kilowatt meter, not this one, but I have it in the house. And and this kilowatt meter, somebody mentioned that it was the readings weren't right, and they they were right because the new kilowatt meter shows it at 115 volts. But as far as um, the results, even in cloudy weather like this, I'm still getting, you know, amps coming in off my panels. Those are the racked, the ground racked ones. And then these, I've disconnected these, and I just tried, I just connected them in right to the batteries, and they're still, you know, but. So don't waste your money on those. Get yourself a good um, monocrystalline or polycrystalline type panels. Uh, PGM 9837 signing off.